Okay, this video is about dealing with meeting anxiety, right? And I, I hear this a lot from people, especially with you got film markets coming up, you got EFM Berlin coming up, and then you got Cannes coming up in May, and we just passed the AFM. But you might be Sundance, you might be South by Southwest, whatever those markets are that you, MIP TV that you might be going to, uh, you might be going into that thinking I you, you have some meeting anxiety, right? You walk in a place by yourself and you're like, uh, uh. now. I'm, I only laugh a little bit because I'm like, all right, I don't necessarily have meeting anxiety and I don't think I've ever had meeting anxiety. I've, I've, I've been very social to the point that I enjoy meeting people and it's a new experience, but I do understand that some people have some anxiety. And the only thing I, can, I guess I can relate it to is um, I one time walked into a bar in Scotland when everybody else was shooting. It was my only night off and I was by myself and... Uh, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna hang here. And it was a karaoke thing. And then immediately, not immediately, I'd say within an hour or so I had friends. And by the time one of my friends joined me, like three hours later, I had like 20 people and we were all having a good time. So I'm trying to think when I kind of walked in there, I thought, oh, this is interesting kind of being alone and you know, just randomly going up to a person might feel a little weird, right? And so I'm trying to think about that and magnify that and go, all right, how does that feel when that, that person is, is doing all these questions in their head before they even just go to a general meeting? couple things you got to remember. One, everybody at these markets and film festivals knows what they're there for, uh, especially film markets, much more than even film festivals, because sometimes film festivals, some people may just go because they're film fans, but film markets, they're there to take meetings and hand business cards out and receive business cards and talk. So when you're all kind of in the same boat, that's a good thing, right? You, you just... Uh, it, no one at any of these markets, if you say, hey, let me get your card. I'd love to follow up with you and show you my film afterwards. No one's going to be like, why would you ask me that? No, that's that's part of what they're there for. So that's something you got to keep in your mind. The second thing is something it's more of a general thing that I, I talk to people about. And when I say you, you can't have no fear, right? And I think it's foolish to have no fear um, or else you just jump off a cliff or something like that and be like, I probably could fly. Like, that's not smart. But the phrase that I use is like, eh, fear and I don't really talk, right? See, it's like, I know that it exists and it's there, but it's like, I don't, I don't let it stop me. And that's what you have to do. You can't let fear stop you from doing anything. Uh, the difference they always said between a hero and a coward in battle is one is running towards the fight, the other is running away from the fight. They're both scared as hell, right? That's the difference. And so you can exist with that fear of the meeting and I don't know if it's going to go well. And all those questions just kind of, yeah, okay, you're over here. I'm still going to do the meeting anyway. I'm still going to walk in. I'm still going to talk to these people. And I think that the more experience you have with it, just like anything else, experience horseback riding, experience um, swimming, you know, anything like that, the more you do it, you'll just feel more natural with it. And you'll get to the point where if you just force yourself to do it and you go, all right, now I have all these questions, all these fear, how's it going to go to put it over here, take the meeting anyway, see how it goes. And eventually you'll get enough data back where you'll go, that wasn't so bad, you know, and, that, and I've had bad meetings, you know, but uh, uh, the majority of them in the high 90th percentile are all fantastic. And once you start getting more and more of that feedback, you'll go, eh, I'm a meeting expert.